In this video, I'll show you how to use a very cool free website called Canva to create a professional looking billboard for your eBay store. The first thing you do is go to the site canva.com and it will ask you to sign in and you can set up your account, but don't pay for anything. Just the free account is going to serve you just fine. Once you're here on the home page, you're going to go to this custom dimensions tab and type in 1200 by 270 pixels and that is the size of an ebay billboard make sure this lock symbol is open and create new design and right away you get a blank canvas the shape and size that you need and a bunch of templates here that you can choose from as your starting point these are just a starting point. There's lots of things you can modify once you choose one, but it will help you to get the bare bones of your design looking good. So I'm going to choose Garden Field. And it pops up and you can edit the type. I'd recommend that's the first thing you do. So double click on it to select and type in your store name. Anastasia of the it's a little big, so I'm going to actually select it again, go up here and make it slightly smaller. It was, it's 84.9, so let's try 80. Oh, let's try 72. Okay, that seems a little better. And now, in this template, there's a space for a tagline, which is cool. They don't all have that. So I could select that and delete it if I don't want it, or I can use it. And having a tagline is great. So let's kind of follow the lead of the sample they give us and say, how oh, beauty and everyday goods. We can come up with a more clever tagline than that, I'm sure. But for now, that's what I'll say. All right. Now, this background of the plant is lovely, but it has nothing to do with my store or my aesthetic that I want to have, which is kind of like a clean, white, bright uh, sort of thing with, you know, some bright colors, maybe. And let's get rid of this plant. So I have to select it and hit delete. And now, of course, you can't see my type because it's white, but we'll put something else behind it in a second. So there's a few things you can use as backgrounds. One is photos and one, another is these uh, backgrounds. Uh, let's look at some photos. So up here, there's different categories, summer, food, computer, flowers, beach, money, business, coffee, family, white, nature, house, books. So you can already see, depending on what your store is like, there's categories that are gonna suit a lot of kinds of businesses. I don't know, let's just pretend that I'm selling antique ephemera or journals or something and try out some of these. So if you uh, mouse over something and it says pro with a little crown in the corner, that's going to cost you extra money. And that's the whole thing about signing up for a not free account is it gives you access to this stuff or you can just pay for it a la carte. I find there's so many choices that I usually don't even care. I just keep looking. So, oh, pink. Oh, that's pro too. Let's see. Here's some orange. Let's try that one. And it pops it in and it's not big enough. So I'm going to make it bigger. Just grab a corner and stretch. All of these images are high res enough that that's fine. I kind of like it without the torn edge, actually. So I'm going to do that. And then when I click off of it, it puts everything in the right order and my types on top again. Um, yeah, that's okay. Maybe I need to make it dark gray. Okay, that's all right. It's kind of boring. This isn't really 
the aesthetic I'm going for. This is kind of like too, it's too autumnal, first of all. So let's look at some more backgrounds. I'm going to uh, try these, this background section, actually. So these are really fun, and they're bound to not distract from your type too much. There's all kinds of things, and there's also these solid colors and gradients up here you can choose. Oh, this looks like my aesthetic. Let's try that. Oh, that's very nice. Okay, I like that. Let's stick with that. And this is still a little plain. I'm going to look for some elements to add. And these are like little drawings and, well, elements that you can stick in your design and you can manipulate. I want something like a line drawing, something like this, but not fruit. Let's look in these monoline elements. I do want something that's simply drawn. How about this nice sort of bingo leaf thing? So we can click that and it will appear. Uh, I don't want it there, obviously. It will appear. And that's okay, but I actually think it would be more dynamic if it were bigger. So let's make it bigger. And move it so it's not over the type. Let's make it even bigger and be off the edge like that. All right, I think that sort of cradles the type nicely. Um, we could copy this and put another one over here facing the other way for symmetry, but I don't know. I kind of like the dynamic of having it asymmetrical. So I think I'm good. I think this is simple, but it kind of conveys my brand in a way that I like. And I can change later if I want. So I'm going to just hit download. And it suggests a PNG, which is fine. It suggests that it's 1x, which means it's just the size it is, which is exactly what we want. We don't need a transparent background. We don't need to compress the file. And we hit download. Here's your file, and then it downloads over here to my computer, and I'm ready to upload that to my eBay billboard on my Edit My eBay Store page, which you can find out about in the eBay Store branding videos. So that's cool. Let's do some more later. All right. Have fun. Thanks, and take care. Mm -hmm.